Well, what's up, guys? Here we are at the Peddler's Mall. We got some numbers for uh, January, and uh, we're going to go in there and add a little bit of inventory for the month and uh, check out the booth, and uh, then uh, we'll come back, talk some numbers, and uh, see how we did, guys. See you inside. Well, we really cleared some stuff out, guys. Let's check this out. Yeah, this was completely full. Now we're getting kind of cleaned out of stuff. Let's uh, let's get the booth cleaned up. We got some new stock for the month right there. And uh, we'll get this thing going and uh, see how we do. Well, we only had a few things that were in the booth that were not ours. And I put them right over here. Everything else looks pretty good. We restocked. Added about 40 pops. It's about what I had to do right now. And uh, let's go do a walk around and see if we find anything that's moved away. This is a pretty good deal for four bucks. I'm gonna have to pick that up. we come back around, I might have to grab that, but we we'll pretty much go wandering around. You wanna see what it looks like? Looks about like this. Got some cool booths over here. A ah, little Nutcracker Army Man. Let me check that out. How cool is that? That is almost a must have right there, guys. So for the most part, we just walk around. We look inside the booths real quick. We see what we can, uh, if we can see anything that looks like ours. So this is pretty much the fun of the flea market. Um, I come, I restock, I take things out of my booth that don't belong to me. And then I wander around the aisles uh, a couple times a month, get some steps in and uh, check out some good booths and also uh, see if any of my pops, cause you know, people pick things up and they're like, eh, I don't want it. And then they put it somewhere else. So now we're gonna walk around and see we see anything else and if I see any interesting booths you know and so far I don't think my stuff gets off too far but there's some cool booths some cool stuff over here uh -huh. Monopoly voice banking and a cool rug I a few Funko Pops, but uh, definitely not mine. I label mine so we can see. That's some cool stuff over here. There's some DVDs. I'm trying to sell too many of those to even look. Another thing I got to bring. I got a lot of old uh, license plates. You know, I don't see anything that's really made it off. Most people's booths are nice and clean, so Let's see what they got in here, huh? Little Funko Pop, a couple Eternal Circes, a little lacy there, nothing much. This person over here sells some DVD bundles. I'm not into no more DVDs. Oh, I see a Funko Pop right there, but not my Funko Pop. This is a cool booth that's by me that sells lots of glasses. And over here, this is uh, the booth of the gentleman who's next to me. And he has lots of cool Funko Pops too. And I always check his booth just to make sure none of my stuff got mixed up. Hi, he's even got a Harry Potter. One of those mo mini moments. Those are pretty cool. So, we're just walking through. Once in a while, you spawn up on a couple cool toys. Like these right up here. A little Battle Strike Batman and a little Wayne Industries there. Superman Batman. That's pretty cool. Booth over here that does some, uh, looks like metal signs. Oh, pretty cool. All the different uh, Seth MacFarlane characters. Yeah, it's cool ones over there. It's like, I don't understand how this makes money. It's just a mess. 
And this person has lots of stuff over here. It's like, I don't even know how you, how you do that. Now this person has a cool vintage clothing store. Very organized, very nice looking, very nice. I like it because I take pride in my booth, so I want people to do that too. Yeah, I've not found one of my things over here. Oh, check out a cool OG Eternals poster back there. That's pretty cool. Over here we've got ooh, lots of different Hot Wheels. Pretty cool ones. Got a little Flash. Ooh, look at Havoc. And that box is trashed. That's the problem. And I bought some of these before from them. They were like five bucks. They worked out well. Yeah, I haven't seen anything that looks like mine yet. Anywhere around here. They got some of this back area over here. It's kind of hidden in the back and not separated the same. Oh, that's pretty cool. They got some vintage clothes. I don't know. That's a pretty good deal for the holiday blend. Doesn't go bad till April. Haha. <laughs> little little bubble machine. Jeez, am I gonna have hands to film if I keep going through here? Well, we're gonna walk back, get our stuff from the booth, and then we're gonna head back to the car and I'll fill you in on what we did for January. Hey guys, well, we don't need to go into the car to do this. We can just do it outside of the flea market. Did you see how cute this little baby Gorgu is that I bought? It's a little bubble machine for my granddaughter next time I see her. So let's go over what we did for the month of January. I got it right here on my phone, so bear with me. All right, so total sales for the month of January were four forty-seven fifteen. Rent was one fifty-five, which leaves us with two ninety-two fifteen. Then they take eight percent, which is twenty-three thirty-seven. That leaves me with two sixty-eight seventy-eight. In the month of January, I spent ninety dollars on inventory, which was one seventy-eight seventy-eight. Now, also, we've got to take out the $10 worth of tolls for me to get back and forth a few times this month. And that was $168.78 was our total. I didn't have a whole lot to stock because I've been doing some whatnots and stuff. And most of the stuff I'm stocking is cheap. We're consistently selling stuff. When you're selling stuff between $2 and $8, there's only so much you can expect before you run out or there's things people don't want. We put 38 pops in there today. Had a lot of fun, guys, at the flea market. Hope you enjoyed this short little vlog today. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace out.